Today, I'll be opening up a $140 comic book mystery box from Retriever Comics. Stick around. DJ Lynx is in the building. What's going on everybody? It's your boy DJ Lynx, back in the building, back in effect, and DJ back with Lynx. another video. And today, boom. Today, I'll be opening up a $140 comic book mystery box from Retriever Comics. Truth be told, it's actually two $70 boxes, but we're going to treat it as one because that's how I roll. Retriever Comics, let me give you some background on Retriever Comics. Retriever Comics was one of the non-franchise mystery box dealers, I guess you would say, or mystery box sellers that I kind of fell in love with. And when you get in the mystery box game, the first thing you want to do is that Spider-Man boom, box heroes, whatever, whatever, whatever. Retriever Comics, was one of the first like humans that I bought a box from and I've loved it ever since. I think I bought a box from him every single round since I've been doing this except for one and that's because they were like super crazy expensive and um, we skipped over that one but he's back baby and I was super happy to jump on this. I got two of them and we're gonna crack it open and we're gonna see what it do so let's go. Alright so there's a lot of books here, a lot, a lot of books. And, um, and you know, we're gonna do it like we always do it. I'm gonna show it to you. You'll see my face. Well, you'll see the book first, then I'll turn it around, then you'll see my face. Well, I'll have the last sold, and then we'll do the total value, and then we see what it is, man. So I'm super excited for this box. I'm happy Retriever Comics is back in the game. I don't know if they sold out, so before I even show you anything, if you're interested in a Retriever Comics mystery box, head over to his Instagram and go cop one of these. Let's go, we're gonna start with this one first. Let's go. First book up, we got a Thor, Mighty Thor. And there is a note on the back. It says, first appearance of Talo. So this is the Mighty Thor 301. No appearance who Talo is. This is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next book up. This one also has a note on the back. We got a Green Lantern, origin of Jon Stewart. So it's the origin of Jon Stewart. Man, I tried watching that Green Lantern cartoon on HBO Max, the Jon Stewart one. I forgot what the name of it is. I still haven't gotten through it, and I, I must have tried to watch it at minimum 15 times. I keep going back to it, and I keep falling asleep. Boom, that's cool. Thanks for good. Nice and amazing Spider Man. Boom. The Green Goblin there on the cover doing what it do. Nice. This is pretty cool. And this is the Amazing Spider-Man 177 in a new stand in the Mylar Magic. Uh, you know, I've been collecting the Amazing Spider-Man stuff, so this is definitely a PC book. Stand aside, fools. The Green Goblin has returned. Stand aside, fools. Next we go. Boom. And then we have a note on the back. It says, first appearance of Hope Him. There you go. I can't read what it says because I don't have my glasses. I can't see without my glasses. The next generation of Avengers, a next. Never heard of this. But the key issue with hope. But I, I've never heard of a next. Hmm. Next book up in the Mylar. Oh snap! So we got some old school Flash goodness going on right here. Wow, 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 the 25 center, wow, Flash, oh wow, look, it even says right there, wow, oh wow, Flash is going to appear live on my favorite TV cartoon show, The Flash and Cartoon Land, this is pretty cool, Flash number 212, February, I don't know what year it is, 25 cents, I'm guessing that's what, early 70s, it's pretty cool, next book, and there's a card in the back, so that's a pretty awesome, Boom, you got a Walking Dead. So the Walking Dead number 20. And then it has a nice little hollow for you card in the back that I'll show you right now. Boom. That's pretty cool. So that's when they were in the prison. I don't know if this is the, yeah, this is from the original line, right? The Walking Dead. Got some spine activity down at the bottom. Oh, snap. I've never read The Walking Dead. I have the compendium one through three, and I'm going to get to it one day. But yeah, pretty dope. Next book up. Oh, snap. Captain America. I can't see the number, but I think it's like 332 maybe. I'm not 100% sure because I can't see it. But this is the first appearance of US Agent. So that is pretty cool. 
boom yeah oh 354 i am like way way off i said 332 I, I couldn't see i couldn't see in the monitor don't blame me please captain america first appearance of the u.s agent pretty dope and then last book out of this first bunch Ooh, -hoo -hoo. wow 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 a fantastic four and then on the back first appearance of cycle man and the first solo silver surfer story that is a great great cover you know me i'm a sucker for old school marvel a sucker for that old school marvel goodness so fantastic four king size special number five featuring their humans the black panther and a most surprising announcement from mr fantastic i think he announced that he was not the father oh by the way we have a great new villain too which is psycho man special bonus the silver surfer a complete feature length thriller this is dope in great condition Ooh, jesus christ Psycho Man. I was never familiar with Psycho Man until they added him in Marvel's Contest of Champions. Yes, I watch Marvel's Contest. I mean, I play Marvel's Contest of Champions. Stupid microphone keep going this way. I'm like, ugh. And then you see the wire. And then you see my skin on me. This is dope, man. I love that old school Marvel goodness. And then we're going to move on to the next pile. First book up. A Fantastic Four. This one says first appearance of Aunt Petunia. That's the thing's aunt. This is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Honest, Dr. Doom in, is not in this Marvel comic. <laughs> but you will find out the starting secret of Frankie Ray plus a dramatic development in the life of Thing. I guess that dramatic development is Aunt Petunia is going to come out and be like, Mwah. Next we go. Another Flash. Boom. Flash in the crosshairs right there. Getting blasted. Boom, boom, boom. So this is the flat Blam. Oh, shit. Hmm. The fastest man alive. Not faster than that bullet, though. Flash number 332. Cool. Next book. Bang. So this is Black Panther number three. The second print. Uh, first cover appearance of Tosin, as well as the first appearance of Tosin. But this is the first time he is on the cover. And this book was on fire. Well, the first print with the Alex Ross cover was on fire for a long time. And then the movie came out. Spoiler alert in three, two, one. Tosin was kind of in the movie. So that book cooled down tremendously. Next book up. Nice. So X-Men number one, the collector's edition. This is that fantastic wraparound gatefold cover. Wow, this is dope, man. So say what you will. There's a thousand of these print. Well, no more than a thousand. There's a gajillion of these printed. Oh, there's a lot of spine stuff going on in this one. This is probably just for nostalgia purposes and things. This is one of my favorite books of all time. I have this same cover, the collector's edition, CGC 9.8 signed by like Jim Lee, Scott Williams, Stan Lee, Chun Lee, Jet Lee, Lee from Wack Comics, all the Lees. But this is dope, man. This is definitely one of my favorite books of all time, regardless if there's like a gazillion of them floating around. Uh, next book up, and this one has a note on the back. This one says first appearance of Sesseneg, Sissineg. I don't know. Uh, Doctor Strange, so Marvel premiere featuring Doctor Strange. Dope cover, dope cover. He's on, he's on his knees. Not all my power, can you save me? Marvel premiere number 13, that's pretty cool. And uh, Iron Fist premiered two issues later in Marvel premiere number 15. That's dope. Let's go. Nice. Black Panther jungle action featuring the Black Panther I should say nice cover and this is the first appearance of white gorillas white gorillas make their first appearance in this Black Panther title jungle action number 13 wrath of the white gorilla mm. within these pages you will meet the man called sombre and you aren't going to like him that's pretty cool i think i have jungle action the one where black panther's fighting the clan i think i have next we go oh shit squadron supreme number one wow i do not have this i do not have this enter the squad homaging Wu-Tang Clans enter the 36 chambers. Wow, yeah, I do not have this, so I am happy to get this, man. Bong, this is definitely a banger. Bong, 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 love that, love that. I don't know why I put it separate. I'm like, yo, like this. But that's, that's definitely a banger. Got some more books coming up. Oh, shit. Oh, wow, oh, oops, <laughs> I jumped the gun, I was like, I was like, what? Um, so this is X-Men, I can't see the number, but this is the JCPenney reprint. And this is the first appearance of Banshee. 
but obviously it's a reprint. Yo, I legit almost fell out this stool that I'm sitting on. I was like, yo, it can't be. Yeah, X-Men number 28, JCPenney reprint of the first appearance of Banshee. Uh, yo, I almost died for a second right there. This is, this is fire. I was, uh, wow, oops. There you go. Next book up, and this is the, this is in the Mylar Magic. Boom. So this is the Dark Avengers. It says first appearance of Dark Avengers, but is this the, hmm, hmm. This is dope in the mylar so dark avengers number one first appearance of uh the dark avengers it says i believe it's also the first appearance of iron patriot i think i have this this one uh you know a couple of spine things going on a corner ding in the bottom a folded ear here so this is definitely not in the near mint range like i wouldn't send this into the grid but yo this is pretty dope man um and then the last and final book out of this entire lot of books Boom, we got a Batman, and it says the first appearance of Blight. So, Batman Beyond, first appearance of Blight. Uh, I don't know who Blight is, and I'm not into the Batman Beyond, so... So, overall, man, this was a stellar box. I guess we got to break down, and this is a lot of books, so look at this. A lot, a lot of books. I guess we'll break down what I think is, and mind you, this is just my taste or my preference, so... Um, Batman Beyond, not for me. Dark Avengers, dope. This reprint, fire. This Squadron Supreme, fire. This Jungle Action, super fire. Doctor Strange, dope. This X-Men, crazy fire. Tosin, it's still fire. Um, this Flash, not for me. Fantastic Four is pretty cool. Oh, the bag is ripped on that side. Gotta change that bag. This right here, sick. First appearance of Cycle Man. First US Agent. Walking Dead, not for me. This Flash, not for me, even though it's a dope old school book, but it's not for me. This uh, Anex, man, eh. This Amazing Spider-Man, Into the PC it goes, Green Lantern, man, eh. And then this Thor, man. So overall, this box was phenomenal. Like, when you have a ratio to, to good, to PC things, versus things, you know, to put in a giveaway box or whatever the case, I'm gonna do with it. This is always fantastic. So big shout out to Retriever Comics for putting together a fantastic mystery box. But of course, we gotta do that total value. So what's the total value of this box? And that's gonna do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. As always, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, share this video, tell your friends about me. Consider joining the Link Squad. The Link Squad is lit. And as always, most importantly, spread love because it's the Brooklyn way. Peace.